Tile roof construction is a complicated thing, but doesn't have to be so complicated that you can't learn it, understand it, and choose the right mounting system for your project. So there are a lot of tile roofs out there. Uh, different regions have different rules. You can look at the Tile Roofing Institute at tileroofing.org and they have manuals for installing uh, different tile roof types and there's certification program, you can take the classes. Um, but the important thing to note is that tiles are standardizing. What I have here on the table is uh, the standard concrete tiles, but there's a lot of different tile roofs out there. You get Spanish tile, barrel tile, um, even porcelain tile. There's just some, all kinds of tiles all over the place. But the construction industry and roofing is standardizing on tiles. So most modern construction is built with these what we call interlocking concrete tiles. So you still get clay tiles out there, but it's good to speak the same language in roofing and solar so that we understand what you're dealing with and then you can select the right product. So getting into the basics of tile roofing, you can start to understand how these roofs are built and how, they, how the construction is done so that you can better arm your crews on what to look for. So, a California installer is going to be dealing with tile in a different way that a, a Florida installer is going to be dealing with it because there's different ways that they're built. So again, the concrete tiles are the most popular, but you may run into the other types of clay or Spanish or old traditional barrel tiles, sometimes just calling them clay tiles is the best way to, to identify them. And as you saw in our other videos about our tile products, you can see which tile hooks work best. So here we have a bunch of uh, the three most popular interlocking concrete tiles. And so uh, this tile is the W tile and this works to basically, you can see how big the lugs are here. Um, and sometimes it's hard to grind those away. And then the flat tile here has um, sometimes a thicker or thinner profile here. Um, and then you get the S tile, which has this S shape here. And you can see this is much more pronounced, higher profile, and then has this lug that you can chip away if you're gonna install hooks and let them uh, uh, use the original tile. Um, so, without getting into too much detail, you can watch our videos on these specific tiles and how to work with them. But for now, we're just going to talk about tile roofing construction. So, the most important thing is to understand that tile roofing has changed. And in the past, you've had uh, tile roofs where you had skip sheathing. And you can actually see the tiles from inside the attic. That was an old way of doing it back in the early 80s. They changed the codes. And so now you have to have solid plywood, underlayment, and then the tiles on top. And sometimes the tiles on top are attached with either nails directly into these nail holes, or they're installed uh, on top of battens, which are hooked on and then interlocked into the sides. So different attachment methods and in different regions again. So Southern California, typically doesn't use battens at all. They use the nail holes and just nail every tile directly into the roof. Um, and then in, in Northern California, for example, in some parts of Arizona, they do use battens to go across and they hook the tile onto this, the batten with this lug on the back and then they interlock. So some roofers prefer different methods. Some are requirements in different regions. And then in Florida, you get into some more complicated roof styles where you might actually have to foam or glue in the actual tiles. And that can be much more complicated to remove a tile and then install a mounting system. So we'll go over that in our other videos that is working with tiles. Uh, but just to understand the basic co composition of a tile roof and the anatomy and how it's built, you're gonna have obviously your rafters, then you're gonna have your plywood like any other roof and then the underlayment, which is the waterproof barrier. Here's a little small little piece of felt paper underlayment. You can see those lines on there. These are big rolls that they roll out. This is the most common thing used for underlayment. And the reason why they use an underlayment on there is because the tiles do have a little bit of water intrusion or they have moisture that collects underneath. So you gotta have some type of water barrier to go underneath there. So most commonly you do see felt paper, but you do see synthetic underlayments 
or sometimes uh, peel and stick kind of adhesive underlayment. So in Florida where they have a lot of high winds, they do have uh, underlayment that is adhered in certain areas for higher winds, wind zones. But traditionally you see, you'll see felt paper in most cases, California, Arizona. Uh, and then synthetic is just kind of a newer, a newer style of doing underlayment. If you ever see tile roofs that are being built, you'll see tiles stacked. Uh, and then you'll see, if you see the underlayment, it's either gonna be black paper or it's going to look white or some kind of color and have probably some company imprinted on it. That is a synthetic underlayment. So why this is important, because some jurisdictions might require that you put an underlayment flashing and you need to know what kind of underlayment you're working with. So you've seen our products there that have uh, ever seal on the hooks built in. That's where it becomes important. That's designed to seal on things like underlayment felt paper. Uh, so that works and that's compatible. And then you have tile replacement flashings that work with these different tiles and these profiles specifically. So if you get an odd tile uh, shape or size, there might be some old tiles out there you've never seen before, snap a picture, send it to your K2 sales rep or your technical trainer, and we can help you uh, figure out what is the best approach to dealing with that tile roof. So also again, Tile Roofing Institute is a great resource, a nonprofit that lays out best practices for tile roof construction and how they build. And the manufacturers typically go by that uh, specification in those, those manuals. So if you have any questions on tile, you can get in touch with us and you'll go through this series and learn a lot more about tile roofing and tile products and the tile products that we offer at K2.